It's that time. Hey, y'all. APG Jamie here. And I'm very happy that you are here, too. So, what are we doing? You know what we're doing. You saw it on the thumbnail in the title, right? Anywho, I've got a long sleeve t-shirt. I've had it for a little while. How long's a little while? I don't know, y'all. Y'all know. Buy stuff on sale, clearance, etc. And you might have it for a minute. So, I uh, wanted to paint on it. Originally, my first thought was to to paint uh, something on the on the sleeves because they're long sleeves, y'all. And and I thought no, uh, I decided I was going to go graphical graphics triangles, y'all. And for said triangles, I am just using plain clear packing tape. I do have like it's like a 12 by 12 piece of wood that's inside there I do recommend cardboard corrugated cardboard inside your t-shirts just because it seems to be better but this is what I had so this is what I used you also want if you because you want to use acrylic paint y'all I'm using acrylic paints I'm using delusions they're old I have them transferred into a uh, bottle bottles that's how old they are they came in that little round tub that dried up so bad any hoots enough of that uh, again with the stippling you know it's like one of my favorite things because it gives you such a nice modeled varied look is it my favorite thing I, I like it pretty much and i'm using some really cheap children's uh stenciling brushes i think they're stenciling brushes I've had them for a really long time but they are very good for this sort of thing stippling especially and I'm using the uh, golden brand GAC 900 I believe verify that by checking the ingredients in the description below the video please uh, it will keep the uh, acrylic paint from being hard and crunchy like how it does on clothes y'all know and it helps it to be soft and uh, you heat set it now I'm heat setting it here so I can dry it and pro proceed on because my next layer is is a, a color change and you don't necessarily want those to be too blendy blendy yeah you know, gets a little dirty anyways um, you have to be very careful because you don't want to melt your um, tape because it's just plastic tape y'all just plastic tape that's all so anyways um let's see what else uh i guess that's it it's not a, so attractive as you're looking at it you're like oh my gosh but you know a lot of times you have to work through the uglies okay y'all remember paula phillips journal artista I do. He can, y'all. It's always the tip of my hat to uh, dear Paula. So, any hoots, um, work through them. Work through them uglies. And, um, yeah, it's very, very splotchy. And uh, this is a light teal colored shirt. And depending on the light waves, it could be considered pale blue. I'm going with teal because that's what, yeah. And most of the video has been sped up. All the video has been sped up. But very few portions have been removed. So there's a lot of wash, rinse, repeat. Now I have used three different stencils. And they are listed in the ingredients as well. And that's just a makeup sponge. And anytime you don't see me mixing in the golden uh, fabric stuff. Please know I have. Okay, I did. And on uh, at some point, we will even use some of that dragonfly color shifting paint stuff. Mm -hmm. We used it in that too. I don't know how well that will wash because it's got like that shimmery stuff to it. Okay, color shift even, you know, like I said. So I, I don't know, but I still like the colors. So yeah, it's fine. 
and I keep lifting up my edges here just a little bit because I don't want to go past my masking in this case which is clear packing tape because I you know I'm trying to keep it within my triangle there I know it just just looks like oh it's so dark and I'm like oh I know it's dark let's put some white bubble wrap on there and yes it, the medium has been mixed in now what happens with the white uh, some of those other colors will bleed up through the white which kind of surprised me I've not necessarily had that happen before with the delusions but this you know we're mixing it with that other uh, medium to keep it soft so that may have had something to do with it I don't know don't no matter because I love how it came out y'all just makes me happy so I'm just wiggling the shirt around because we're going to put another triangle on it again with the uh, clear packing tape um, trying not to line my points up I'm also trying not to have the points end up on my breastises if you know what I mean it is okay so you know just something to keep in mind and at the very beginning I had this plastic thingy um it's to help line up designs on t-shirts or clothing or whatever kind of shirts i think it was just shirts and there's a youth and a kid and a adult and all that kind of stuff front and the back uh i got it from the amazons is it necessary no but i and yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that so i'm mixing up the same colors again i did not blend the colors together I didn't mix any of them so I'm just adding the uh, the fabric medium and which essentially means if you're using straight out of the bottle colors you don't have to worry about color matching if you have to come back and do some other layers or something later on guy okay? just just saying so yeah that okay here we go keep on going i know it's I, what i said it's a lot of wash rinse and repeat now uh, the fabric does get pretty good and wet and the color the you know the paint will seep through the other edge and which is why it's better if you use corrugated cardboard because it's more inclined to absorb it and suck it up instead of leaving it wet on the board where you could get little bits of color in other places you don't want it at and you really have to be careful about this kind of thing because you know you get paint on your fingers you get paint over here and over there normally i have my paint palette on the right so i'm not dripping across my surface that i'm working on but in this case i'm trying to keep it on the left because the white right side has lots of stuff on it i know it looks like a cockeyed bow doesn't it mm -hmm. so it's just how it goes sometimes so here i use a circle which is what i said i didn't want to put a target on mm -hmm. but but it's not that noticeable okay okay well you saw the thumbnail any hoots uh wait till you see the flip-flop part <laughs> oh silliness there is absolutely nothing wrong with silliness as long as you're not hurting anybody and it's okay to do and you know social social decorum and all that junk so uh we do a lot of heat gun y'all and uh, again being careful with the plastic tape you don't want to melt it uh, it would probably like be really sticky on your fabric in this case it comes off very well uh, it's not pulling up any of the paint that we put on there guy I know a cockeyed bow I know <sighs> you will unsee it later maybe I, I don't know guess we'll have to wait and see on what we see later right something like that so anyways um i don't know i don't know what else to say a little more triangles this one's going to be all by itself kind of right on my belly it's like here look at this 
big belly over here. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, I'm plump. <laughs> it's okay. It's not like I'm look, looking for a maid or anything. Anyways, again, I, I'm trying really hard not to introduce other colors like I want to. But I didn't. And this one's going to be a smaller triangle. Okay. Same colors. A green, a turquoise, and a magenta, and a black, and a white. We will throw another color in there in a little bit. And if you saw the thumbnail, you already know. <laughs> Anyways. Again, caution with the heat gun, y'all, on the plastic tape. If you, you can use stencils, you can just use whatever you want. Oh, little ditty, ditty, bitty touch of uh, that magenta. Man, y'all, that magenta is some strong paint design. That's alcohol. I spritzed alcohol on there, and as long as I didn't heat set it, <laughs> the heat gun right then, um, it, it will take out a reasonable amount. It will not necessarily remove it. Um, but yeah, you, you can't see it. I can't, I can't even see it now. So, you know, it worked pretty good. Maybe I painted over it <laughs> and a little, little, uh, a little spot, probably about the same size, uh, on the side. And again, I can't see that either. So, and I know it was there anyway, we've got this little dragonfly stencil from it's an artist seller design and it's from artist seller she is still around y'all and let's see oh i got a extra paint on the uh tape and i want to wipe that away here can y'all and if you do that you really want to be careful not to you know smoosh it around too much i'm cooling it off because i don't want the tape to leave uh, a lot of sticky residue on the shirt which it did not pretty good packing tape y'all uh, i would think you could use masking tape and i did try to press the edges down uh where the paint would not not seep underneath it and because the paint's not super juicy wet it's wet paint y'all but it's not super juicy wet and runny it did not seep under and in some places i was able to leave a very slight margarine margarine <laughs> not butter margarine y'all <laughs> margin uh by having the the edge of the tape come slightly over the triangles and we will uh touch all that stuff up in a little bit guy so this is the dragonfly i think it's dragonfly paint it's either dragonfly or color shift ingredients y'all idk right now off the top of my head because all i can think about is margarine and butter <laughs> anyway it is a really big t-shirt it's um uh, <laughs> i'm like i didn't realize it was this big but it's pretty big and that's okay. I don't mind loose fitting, y'all. And besides, maybe I sleep in it. <laughs> My fancy shirt, y'all. Uh, you know I like t-shirts. Anyways. Carrying on. And there we go. Last little bit of our wonky circle. <laughs> it's not really circle, circle. But it's, it's a circle, y'all. See, it's just. It's just a little wonky. That's okay. So then I got out my Posca pen. And I'm dipping it into. Uh, on, on my little palette there. Because I don't want to. You know how you have to pump them up and down. To get the paint to come out of the tip sometimes. I don't want to do that on my shirt. So I'm doing that over there on the palette. So I'm just kind of reaching over there. Because I don't want big blobs. <laughs> on my teeny tiny fine line actually it's a medium tip uh bullet tip posca marker and um parts of it may or may not have the medium 
Okay, it's just kind of how it goes, y'all, sometimes. And that part, like I said, the colors underneath were trying to bleed through, which really surprised me. I'm, obviously, I'm still surprised by it, I guess. So, anyway, uh, some of the lines that go over more, and some of them I don't. And um, I didn't sit near, now I don't remember if I went around the whole purple circle. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. I don't know. I'd add two small triangles up on the um, one of the shoulders. Which shoulder? I don't know. Left side, left shoulder. Yeah, left side. <laughs> I don't think I, I showed you that part. It's exactly the same thing. And I thought, oh, this is a perfect place to put my famous saying. It's my famous saying, and it's known worldwide. All around the WWW, y'all. So I've got three different stamp sets because I wanted my first letters to be pretty much capitalized. But, you know, I'm using... They worked really well together. So, uh, and I'm going to get out a little tiny fine bristled brush. A little tiny one, y'all. And we will add an apostrophe after the Y and before the all, because that's the correct way to spell y'all, in case y'all didn't know that. <laughs> and if you spell it the other way, oh, flip-flop time! <laughs> Look at my belly! Look at all this! Oh, oh my God. Oh, because you need to see the back. Plenty of room on the back to put stuff in. I'm like, y'all, here I am. I'm going to prance across the backyard trying to watch where I'm stepping, if you know what I mean, if you got dogs. Uh, oh, my goodness. Look at that. I'm all that. A bag of chips. Here's a bag of chips underneath my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> y'all oh ta-da <laughs> photo montage <laughs> just some close-ups and a photo montage because you know it wouldn't be my video without it. it it's i'm really happy with the shirt oh i did go around the outside of the purple circle with the weight and um, the purpley there, it's kind of, yeah, it's got that whole shimmery thing. I hope it lasts, you know, from being washed. I don't know. There's the two little triangles up on his shoulder, y'all. Dragonfly. <sighs> Thanks for watching. And happy art, y'all. Paint on your clothes.